In Italy have made six changes to the side that lost to Wales, with Lorenzo Canoni set to captain the Azzurini. Leonardo Marin moves from fullback to fly half and will pull the strings alongside his Moliano teammate Alessandro Garbisi. You'll recognise the surname, the younger brother, of course, of Paolo Garbisi, who starred in the Rainbow Cup final on the weekend, Italy's starting ten, of course. Whether it's rotation or a reaction to the defeat, France have rung the changes following their match against England. Head coach Philip Boa changing 12 of his starting lineup. The likes of Matteo Garcia, Luis Biel Biari, and Thomas Ployet make their first starts of the championship. <coughs> a shrill blast from Adam Leal signals the start of game two. And Retier sends this one into the Italian 22. It's a penalty. We're very, very creative. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is, the first points of the afternoon from Alessandro Garbisi, the younger brother of Paolo, proving himself to be a very deft place kicker like his brother. And here is Edgar Retier. <laughs> his first attempt and his first successful attempt of the game. And he ties the scores at three all with eight and a half minutes on the clock. Edgar Retier. So by this time last week, the French were three tries to the good against England. A much more cagey encounter this one. No clear-cut try scoring opportunities yet. Two pretty fitted teams, and as I say that, the Italian left winger Simone Gassi breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles. No one's going to touch him over the line. What a solo drive from Gessi in seemingly no space whatsoever. He's conjured a bit of magic. Beautiful pass of play. Look at that, just on his own. Riguez completely stops the right hook. I think he just flirts with that touch line, but does not seem to touch it at all. Fair play, Sigula can't catch him. Garcia tries, but can't either. And that is an incredible effort. I think it's Rotier who oh, missed good. the last tackle. That much. is one sensational good. try and sensational finish for a solo effort, spotting not so much of an overlap, but just raw talent saying, I'll back myself, I'll back my fend, I'll back my speed, and I end up over the line. Well done. At the moment, the Italian are okay, clearly leading the show. In, front. Don't go. in France, are just barely okay, hanging now. on by a thread. So Matteo Garcia trying to do what Gessi has just done down the left-hand side of the pitch, and there's an overlap here. Will they need it? Nelson Epe, the hat-trick hero we talked about just moments ago from last week, replies in an instant, anything you can do, I can do better. But then Garcia show a beautiful inside step, defending just the last defender, that little offload for Lachez who then finds Bodon inside, who's going to play the two-and-one dummy and the offload, beautifully done for who else then, okay, who back, other than Nelson Epe. So, Set. Alessandro Garbisi feeds the scrum. And again, a twisting, turning, but the ball comes out and it goes into the midfield for Schiabel, who finds a bit of space there in that midfield. And now the French look to spin it wide, Gayaton. Out to Nelson Epe, Epe's got a bit of space on the left wing here, will he kick, will he run? He's eventually brought to ground and the ball spills loose, knocked on in the tackle, so relief for the Italians as Marin digs in. And that is the game. So a tense, nail-biting, nervous, jittery second half here at Cardiff Arms Park.